A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to them, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Our readings these past weeks have reminded us of the immense and marvelous love that God has for each of us. We have been reminded that we must open ourselves to God so that we can draw closer to receive God's love and in turn give our love to God. In today's readings, my friends, we learn how important it is for us to return and share that love. The reading from Exodus begins with God's commands to be careful in how we treat the needy. God speaks of strangers, widows, and orphans, and the poor. If these are mistreated and cry out, God will hear their cries because, as God says, I am compassionate. The idea, of course, is that we too should be compassionate. Our short gospel reading clearly spells this out. The Pharisees are out to trick Jesus once again. So they ask him, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Without hesitation, Jesus responds, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus was asked for the greatest commandment, and he gives it, but he doesn't stop there. He goes on and gives the second commandment, and in doing that, he is teaching us something very important, that the greatest commandment is not the only commandment. Of course, the Pharisees and we Christians living today know that God comes first. We wouldn't even be here if it hadn't been for God who created each of us uniquely and loves each one of us as we are. Of course, we are to love God first and foremost, but that's not the whole story, my friends. Jesus went on to name the second commandment as similar to the first, and it too is about loving. We are to love our neighbor as ourselves. This is followed by something the Pharisees maybe hadn't thought of, that the whole law and the prophets are contained in these two commandments. When we look at the other commandments, we realize that if we keep the commandment of loving our neighbor, we will be keeping these other commandments as well. Jesus was right. Our task now is to discern how we may keep these two commandments that come directly from Jesus. Our lives today seem busier than ever, even in the midst of a pandemic, but that shouldn't keep us from showing our love for others. Children can help their parents by doing something they would do anyway, without groans and moans. Workers can find opportunities to pay colleagues honest compliments. An older neighbor might like a visit. Just think of your typical day and look for an opportunity to show God you are loving or trying to love your neighbor. God will understand and be there to help you. And you can take the time to sit down and recognize how God shows love to us in our family, friends, the earth, the universe. Sometimes the smallest thing can show us God's love for us and our love for our neighbor. My sisters and brothers, may we hear Jesus' call to look beyond the first and greatest commandment, to see 
how we may honor it through the second. In your listening, may the Lord give you peace. Peace.